Welcome to the fifth video in TestRails training video series. In this video, you will learn all about TestRails integration with various issue, defect, and bug tracking tools. To get the most out of your TestRail experience, we highly recommend configuring the integration with your issue tracking tool. The configuration process only takes a few minutes. In this video, we'll show how to set up the integration with Jira as an example, and then show how the integration is designed to work. Now let's log into TestRail. To get started, let's set up our JIRA integration. First, we'll head to Administration, then Integration. For this video, we'll use the JIRA integration wizard, which will make it much easier. On this page, click the Configure JIRA integration button to see the integration wizard. In this case, all we'll need to do is enter the details about the JIRA instance we're connecting to and the login credentials for our fallback user account. The fallback user account is used for the integration functions if the current logged in user does not have their own credentials stored under their profile settings. One thing to note, if you are using Jira Cloud, you will need to use your login email address and an API token generated from your Jira account. Jira server users will use their Jira username and passwords for authentication. With the integration complete, let's enter our own credentials under our profile settings. First, we'll go to Profile, then My Settings, and then the Settings tab. On this page, if our user variables were set up correctly, we'll see the fields here to enter our information. Integration setup can also be done manually, but will require a bit more configuration. For details on how to set up the JIRA integration or any other tool's integration manually, please check the link in the description. With our integration to JIRA set up, let's check out how the integration works. First, we'll go to the Test Runs and Results tab and select a test to add a test result. As an example, we can mark this test as failed and add some additional details. Notice the Add and Push links in the defects field. The Add link allows you to jump to JIRA to create a new bug report. You can also push bug reports from TestRail to an issue tracker without having to leave the application. The fields present in this dialog are pulled by the issue tracker directly. All of the projects, issue types, and components are defined in JIRA in this case. Since different issue trackers use different issue fields and names, this dialog looks slightly different for each integration. By default, TestRail includes the test results comment in the bug report. Therefore, you don't have to retype anything. You can also create a push template if you'd like the push to populate more test rail data into the issue description. To set this up, head back to Administration, then Integration. Then under the JIRA Defect Plugin settings, you can click the link for Enter a Template, and you'll see another text field appear, populated by default with the variables for comments and details from the test results. Below the text field, you'll see a link for Add Field which will allow you to select from a number of test rail fields from both the test case and result details to include in the description of the issue you are pushing to your bug tracker. In addition to field data, you can also include any static text you would like included in that template, and even any inline formatting options, such as JIRA's text formatting notation options to create headings or change the appearance of your text with bold, italics, and many other options. With the push template updated, if we push a new issue to JIRA, we'll see that all of the fields, static text, and formatting we added to the template will now display in the JIRA issue description. With JIRA, you can also customize the fields for the issue tracker integration. So if you have to find any custom fields, you can add those fields in the push defect dialog. Once you've pushed the bug report, TestRail automatically adds the new issue ID to the defects field and links this test report to the issue. You can also push multiple bug reports or manually add additional IDs if needed. Add the test result and scroll down to the bottom of the test page. Hover the cursor over the linked issue ID. This allows you to see the status of the issue. Click on the ID to jump to the bug report in your issue tracker. Beginning with TestRail release 6.1, you can also add a run directly from within a JIRA issue. This makes the whole process much more efficient. Another thing you can do with TestRail 
is link test cases to external references, such as requirements, bug reports, use cases, or feature requests. Open a test case and click Edit to see the References field, where you can enter one or multiple IDs for existing external references, such as JIRA issues or requirements. In order to see all references or linked defects for your tests at a glance, you can add the Defects or References column for your test cases and run pages. Okay, now that you know how to use TestRail's defect integration, watch our next video to learn more about TestRail's milestones and to-dos.